Uh, my name is Hayden Tomlin. Um, I am from Ireland. I have been a US citizen since 2019 and uh, lived in Colombia for five years. And uh, the similarities between Ireland and what we are doing here today are striking, but in the opposite trajectory. I'm going to give you a very brief history of abortion in Ireland. Right? Abortion was illegal in Ireland since 1861. An amendment was added in 1983, granting equal rights to the unborn. Further laws in the period restricted the right to information and travel for an abortion. There were no exceptions other than the immediate risk to the life of the mother. Right? Mere weeks later, a 15-year-old in rural Ireland gave birth on a cold, dark winter's night in a field under a statue of the Virgin Mary. Both mother and baby died that night alone. Later, le letters would reveal that she did it in protest to the laws. Later, after a 14-year-old suicidal rape victim was detained by the state and refused permission to travel for an abortion, both the travel and information bans were lifted. That wasn't until 1992. In 2012, a young mother by the name of Savita Halapanavar died when her 17-week fetus became septic and the doctors would not abort because even though the fetus was dying, it still had a heartbeat and she was not in enough danger at that point. Days later, both mother and fetus were dead from sepsis. Deemed not, as I said, in enough danger. These cases were a catalyst for finally legalizing abortion in Ireland in 2018. In that time, countless women met similar fates or had to travel to another country to seek medical care because their own country did not care to help them. Many suffered great trauma mentally and medically, whether due to the circumstances of the conception, the lonely travel abroad, or mainly the inaccessibility of health care equal to their peers. Many were left carrying dying fetuses, those unable to travel, often self-aborted with tragic results. The outrage this caused in the public consciences was so great that the government was forced to repeal the laws and legalize abortion. Many of those politicians who championed these laws were not able to continue their political careers. The government was forced to face reality and introduce proper in-depth sex education and provide easy access to contraception along with improving services for pregnant women and families with children. Where is the time already? Okay, sorry. Thanks for your testimony. I, can I just leave you with one, yes, sir. one point? Um, the, the differences here are, are stark between the two countries. But you need to know the teen pregnancy rate here is 19.3 per 1,000. Okay, Ireland is an average country in the rest of the world. Its rate is 5.2, okay? Same with maternal mortality, 27.9 is the rate per 100,000. Okay. That rate in Ireland is five. All right, sir. Well, thank you for okay. your testimony. Thank you. All right, next we have...